And Todd, salute you. You got the top three in the uh, in the draft correct. And this, there's a lot of questions about what might happen from there. I just want to know from there, what did you love that happened? Give me somebody, a team, a pick that you like. Well done. I love it. I love the Jets. I mean, the Jets got three of the best 15 players in this draft. They got the best cornerback in Sauce Gardner coming out of Cincinnati to, to play a position that's so important in that Robert Sala's defense. They've got to be able to play on an island. And, and Sauce Gardner never gave up more than 13 receiving yards to an opponent and never gave up a receiving touchdown during three seasons at Cincinnati. So you get that cornerstone piece early on at pick number four. Then you come back at 10 and get the best wide receiver in the draft and, and Garrett Wilson coming out of Ohio State. And, and Garrett Listen, Drake London went before him, the USC receiver. He's a great player. I had him right number two. But Garrett Wilson, his body control, run after catch ability, running a 4-3-8, that's the kind of young playmaker that you've got to have to team up with Zach Wilson. I think that's going to be a huge addition. So they needed speed and difference makers, and they got two big-time playmakers on both sides of the ball. And then Jermaine Johnson, they trade back in. All this draft capital, right? We talked about it, four picks in the top 38. Well, they take advantage of it. They move up, and they go get Jermaine Johnson, who I was shocked to see that late in the first round still available. I thought he could be a top 10, 12 pick in this class. Very good pass rusher out of Florida State, transferred from Georgia. Great production this past season, just a one-year starter. But he is long, great with his hands, and I think he's going to be an instant impact player. And Jermaine Johnson finally got a, a chance to start after not playing at Georgia for a couple years and transferring. He wouldn't be taken off the field. 61 snaps per game this past season because he was so excited to play ball, even on a Florida State team that struggled late in games, late in the season when they were losing, he was given the best effort of any player on that field. And we understand, Todd, why it's tough to get on the field in Athens. They got five guys off the defense to go first <laughs> round, and my guy, N'Kobe Dean, didn't go first round. I love his talent. Uh, he'll certainly go tomorrow. Now, mm -hmm. the only consensus about this draft was that we had no idea what might happen. So there, there figured to be some things that maybe were head scratchers, maybe were gambles, maybe they were confusing perhaps. To you, what would qualify as any of those things? A gamble, a confusing pick, something that just didn't make sense to you? Well, I, I actually thought Pittsburgh was going to go with Malik Willis, wanting the, the quarterback with mobility. And I thought they were going to lean into that with a great defense and a strong run game. They went Kenny Pickett. So it's not confusing to me that Malik Willis didn't go in the first round. It's just that they chose Pickett over Willis. So that, to me, was, was one of the confusing spots. And then I, I thought it was interesting. The offensive tackles, it took a little bit for them to come off the board. We saw, I, and I'll tell you a good story. I talked to two different general managers who said, as we were talking the past few days, Kayvon Thibodeau, the Giants, isn't happening. It's like a historic bad interview they had with him. <laughs> Evidently, it's just like things went awry. I should have known after right. all these years, Scott, right. I should have known that he was going to wind up being a Giant. But right. it's like, yeah, they're no, he's not going five or seven, so he might be on the board at nine for Seattle. Why do you believe anyone? All they I do is know, lie man. to you. <laughs> well, they got there are people I trust and I know are telling me the truth, but they got lied to. So it's like six degrees, right? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.